who you are and where we are. I am David Powers, and we're at Hope Sound Golf Club in Hope Sound, Florida. I grew up in Glens Bay, New York, outside of Monticello, New York. It's uh, pretty much in the middle of nowhere, about an hour and 50 minutes north, 90 miles north of New York City on the Pennsylvania border, kind of on the Delaware River. Not a whole lot of golf presence in that area and like no one in my family played and my friends in high school kind of gave me that, why are you playing golf thing? I mean, it was kind of always something that I did. I started playing when I was three years old, so um, it's always been a part of my life, but not many people do what I'm doing from where I grew up. Coming from where I did, it's not really like, I didn't have anyone else's experiences to look at and say, oh, I want to do what they did. So it's kind of always on my own. Uh, really good practice day is going to last anywhere from three to five hours usually. Um, that's if I'm not going to play. Um, so I kind of work through all the facets of my game, like kind of just depends on what I'm working on. A lot of it is like if I'm on the range, a lot of it is uh, distance control and I just check in to make sure nothing crazy is going on in my golf swing. And then, uh, you know, like chipping, pitching is kind of a, a good example of what we just did. I work on the motion a little bit, kind of check in on that and then go to more like situational stuff, high shots over bunkers, bunker shots, you know, controlling trajectory and spin and things like that. And just kind of forcing myself to hit more uh, specific shots, kind of training what it might be like on the golf course. Um, and then putting, usually I, I break down all the parts of putting, whether it might be path and face training or uh, speed and uh, reading greens. I do quite a bit of work on reading greens because Sometimes I feel like I'm blind there, but <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I just, a good practice day, I try to hit a little bit on everything. And then days that I play, I kind of do more of a, you know, I might do a little bit of practice if I'm working on something specific, um, but I try and get to the golf course and do more of like a, a typical warm up for, uh, you know, like if I'm going to a tournament, what that warm up session might look like. And then I try and go play. And then after the round, if I feel something is, needed, I'll go and practice that. So the mini tours are good because they give guys like me an opportunity to play. So I don't have status necessarily on a tour right now. Um, so, but I can still go and play very competitive events with professional golfers. Um, the fields are good, the purses are less than what a tour event would be. Um, most of them, you know, I play a lot of the G Pro Tour where there are 54 hole events and the winner usually takes somewhere between 10 and 15,000. I play the Minor League Tour is another great tour down here in South Florida. Uh, they do a lot of one day events where, you know, you can pay your entry fee and then, and then win X amount of dollars based on how big the field is. So, I mean, mini tours are really, uh, they're great just for professionals to get tournament reps and kind of get the feel of, of playing against guys that are really good at what they do. So it's even guys down here that, you know, have PGA Tour status, Corn Ferry status, and, and they'll come and play a minor league because, you know, it's competition and it's, it's pretty good competition. So, um, you know, I think for a lot of guys, it's not necessarily about the money. They like to compete and play against the best of the best. Um, you know, when you're not necessarily playing on a tour, the money is a little bit more important because you got to survive, so uh, you know you got to pay your bills somehow. Um, nobody's comfortable when there's two digits in your bank account. <laughs> nobody's comfortable when they're going to play a tournament, and playing well could mean you know getting a new driver that you need to play well. So, in terms of my experience, I think uh, just not having a lot of money in the bank account is a tough thing to get used to, and. Um, it certainly makes playing the game a lot more stressful when it feels like you have to play well to support yourself rather than just going and playing because you're out there doing your job. But at the end of the day, it's, 
you know, you're going out to play golf and, and do it well and compete with guys that in some cases are the best players in the world. The car is a story in itself. <laughs> the Honda Civic. That's the, the Honda Civic is amazing. The blue 2013 Honda Civic LX has done so good for Mini Tour Golf. Yeah, it has seen, as far north as probably Prince Edward Island in Canada down to Palm Beach. I mean, it's been pretty close to Miami. That's only about, I don't know, 3,500 miles south of Prince Edward Island. And then uh, it's been everywhere. It's been pretty much everywhere on the East Coast. It's got 223,000 miles on it. It's getting a new starter today and uh, potentially uh, a little boost to the AC. So it'd be nice and chilly down here for the hot South Florida summer. Um, I don't know, I have a I don't know if it's a unique idea of confidence, but I think confidence is, is almost overrated. Um, it's more so now trying to look for trust. I mean, you can have confidence and confidence comes and goes. Uh, it, it almost looks like, you know, on a graph, it's just gonna go up and down and up and down always because when I'm hitting it super well or putting really well, like, of course I'm gonna have a ton of confidence. Um, but it's when you're not that, you know, the guys that say that they fake confidence, I think it's just that they have the ultimate trust in their ability to play. And they know that at some point it's gonna come back. So, um, you know, in, in every swing, you might get a little bit closer to that. So I think with confidence, the biggest thing is to just enjoy it while you have it. Um, and certainly don't overlook it because it's it's fun when you <laughs> when you have a lot of confidence and you're hitting shots and it feels like you can't miss it's the coolest thing in the world but um, you know when you fake it it's kind of just like it's just trusting that you know you've done it before you can do it again and you could only be one swing away how good does it feel to play well in a tournament there is not a single thing that exists that feels better. I mean, to, to practice, to work hard, and then have it pay off is by far the coolest thing. When you're playing well and coming down the stretch and not missing a shot, or even if you are missing a shot, just feeling like you have some sort of control, a lot of times it's kind of like, it's almost like an out-of-body experience, like you're just kind of doing your thing and it's working, you know, because it doesn't work all the time. And very rarely is it perfect, but when it works, it's special. It's very special.